And now resuming our interview, our guest today is His Imperial Majesty Haile Selassie I, Emperor of Ethiopia. You've just met Clifton Daniel of the New York Times. Our other reporters are Norman Cousins of the Saturday Review, Milt Freudenheim of the Chicago Daily News, and Pauline Frederick of NBC News. Ned Brooks will be back with us next week. We'll continue the questions now with Mr. Cousins. Her Majesty, generally, when heads of state take on other jobs in government, they take on the portfolios, let us say, of the foreign minister or the minister of defense. But the one big job you have taken on, in addition to your regular job, is the job of chancellor of the university. Would you tell us why you have, you have taken on this particular assignment? ግርማ ከጠላት ወረራ በኋላ እንደተመለሰን የትምርት ሚኒስቴር ፖስቶይ ወሰድ ስለዚህ አሁንም ደግሞ በዛው በመሰረት ነው ለመቀጠል የዩኒቨርሲቲው ቻንስለር መሆኑ መረጥ ይሄን ዞሮ ዞሮ ለኢትዮጵያ ለሀገራችን የትምርት ተቃሚነት አፈላጊነቱን ስለተረዳ The main reasons why I took this action is actually uh, quite obvious. Education is the most useful thing to our country and indeed uh, to all mankind. Uh, during the war, the educational process of Ethiopia was discontinued, but subsequently after the war, we took off where we started from and we had to quicken our pace in order to compensate for lost time of enemy occupation. As soon as uh, our liberty was restored to us, I uh, actually took the portfolio of the Ministry of Education. Now, I am happy to say, I have become the Chancellor of, uh, of the University. Education being a useful thing for our country, I see no greater thing to which I dedicate myself, and uh, I also say with happiness that it is along this field that uh, I laid down what I consider to be one of my successful records. Foreign affairs, uh, particularly nowadays, is a very important thing for the development of uh, countries and for peace and stability. But uh, despite this, we chose to take uh, the portfolio after the war and our liberation of uh, defense and ministry of education. The reason really we have done so is because we lost so many fine young men, uh, people that served their country during the war, and uh, we had to take this measure to quicken the pace of education so that Ethiopia again will be put a right on the court on the correct road. Your Majesty, do you believe that aid in education from the United States or from the United Nations would be useful to your country and perhaps to Africa in general in its move in its uh, general development? Uh, ከተባበሩት መንግስታት ማህበር ሆነ ወይም ከአሜሪካ መንግስት እርዳታ ስለ ትምህርት ማግኘት ለኢትዮጵያና ደግሞ ለሌሎች አፍሪካ ሀገሮች ተቃሚ መስሎ ይታየታል ወይ? ካሁንም በፊት የአሜሪካን መንግስት ረርቶናል ስለ ትምህርት ጉዳይ ግን በቂ ነው ለማለት አይቻልም መጨመር ያስፈልጋል። ከአሜሪካን መንግስት በቀርም ከሌሎች መንግስቶች ሁሉ በየአይነቱ ስለ ትምህርት ነገር እርዳታ ገኝተናል። ይሄም በቂ ሊሆን አይችልምና ወደፊት Uh, the government uh, of the United States of America has been uh, quite generous to us in matter of education and uh, they have given us 
uh, help uh, of which uh, we are very appreciative, but oh, we cannot say uh, here that the aid we have gotten from uh, this source, the United, the United States, United Nations, and other international organizations are actually sufficient. The task of education is immense one, is a matter that takes a great deal of financing to solve. Uh, we hope that Ethiopia, as well as other undeveloped countries, uh, will continue to get the assistance of the uh, developed countries. Mr. Freudenheim. Your Majesty, at the United Nations, you expressed dismay at the treatment of American Negroes in some parts of our country, the same time you praised President Kennedy's civil rights program and actions. Do you feel, sir, that African leaders and African peoples are being turned against the USA by the news they read of our racial troubles? ወገርማጀን ይሄንን እንግዲህ ስንል በአፍሪካ በአሜሪካ ሀገር የዘር ልጅነትና ድሎት በመኖሩ ምክንያት አሜሪካ አሜሪካ መንግስትና ህዝብ በአፍሪካኖች አይን የተሳጣና የሚሳጣ ይመስላል። ይህ ጉዳይ በጣም ትላቅ ነገር መሆኑ ስለተሰማን ፕሬዚዳንት ካኔዲ ስለዚህ ለአፍሪካ በአሜሪካን ስለሚኖር ያደረጉትን ንግግራችን ገልጠናል። አሁንም ይህ ነገር እንደ ኢንተርናሽናል ጉዳይ የሚታይ ነገር ስለሆነ ኢንተርናሽናል ምጭምር ያስበብታል ብለን ተስፋለን የሰው ዘር ለመለየት ከሕግ ይወጣ ነገር መሆኑ ራሳችሁም እንታውቁት ነውና በዚህ እናይስማማበት ይገኛል ያለብን 